Good afternoon, and welcome to Shandon Presbyterian's Wednesday Check-In. My name is Molly Spangler, and I am the Associate Pastor for Children, Youth, and Families here at Shandon. And I hope that this message finds you well this Wednesday afternoon. I have some news and updates for you all about our life and ministry together this week. First, we have an exciting Sunday coming up in a few days. This Sunday, November 8th, during worship, we will have 13 youth confirmed as full active members of the church. It's with great joy that we are finally welcoming our 2020 class of confirmation students, and we are celebrating with them and their families. Also this Sunday, we will have another outdoor evening prayer service. The service is at four o'clock, so please contact the church office to make a reservation if you're interested in attending so that we can keep a total count of how many people will be there. We hope that you can join us for both of these worship opportunities. Next, I'd also like to remind everyone that we are in the middle of stewardship season, making all things new. This is a time where we thoughtfully and prayerfully consider what gifts we might share with the ministry of our congregation. If you have not picked up a stewardship packet, there are some available outside of the front door under the portico. The packet contains items that might help enhance your worship experience these several weeks while we are worshiping at home and thinking about the gifts of the church. So please come by and pick one up if you would like one. We also have a few pastoral care updates for you this week. First, please be in prayer for Kathy Hazelwood and Megan Hall and their families. Kathy's father, Richard Hazelwood, passed away on Sunday, November 1st. Richard is also Megan's grandfather. We are sending our prayers and support to all of their loved ones this week and ask that you all do the same. We also ask that you might be in prayer for the Jones family. Sarah Jones passed away on Sunday, November 1st. She is the daughter of Rob and Elizabeth Jones, and we are sending our love to their entire family as they begin to navigate a difficult week. So please say a prayer for them in the days and weeks to come as well. And now, speaking of prayer, I would like to leave you all with a prayer from the Sanctified Art Community. For anyone who may not know, Sanctified Art is a collective of ministers and artists who create resources for worshiping communities. And being election week, I know that tensions are high and energy might be low. Anxiety and stress might be up, but so is our hope. So it's my hope that this prayer might meet you wherever you are today, this evening, this very moment and remind you that God is with you, and you are never alone. So please, join me in a moment of prayer. Let us pray. Holy God, we come to you in prayer today full of emotions. Election seasons always seem to bring that out in us. Worry and hope, fear and frustration, the list could go on. So today we bow our heads and ask for guidance. Open our ears to hear the groans of creation. Open our eyes to see the needs of others. Open our hearts to make room for empathy. Give us the wisdom to navigate challenging con conversations. Give us the patience to disagree with grace. Give us the compassion to make decisions for the greater good, and when all else fails, bring us back to love. Bring our hearts and our hands, our dreams and our hopes, our anger and our frustration, our hurt and our fear, bring all of them back to love. We hope, we pray, and with your hope we are sustained. Amen. Again, friends, I hope that you are well this Wednesday evening, and I hope that you stay well until we meet again.
Peace be with you. Good night.